And one of the places that we are robbing ourselves also mm -hmm. of, of, of the ability for people to live fully mm -hmm. is the amount of people we put in prison. Yes. We have more prison in America, Anywhere. people in prison in America than any Anywhere. other country. It's a shameful. Yes. And, 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 Oftentimes, it's the minority groups, especially blacks, yes, that are targeted for law in, by law enforcement, yes, okay, and that when they go before a judge, they don't get a fair sentence. And here's a couple of statistics, and then I'll tell you some things that I did yes. to help remedy that. One, blacks make up 17 percent of the population in the state of Florida. Now, if you live in Broad, you will know that because we're over 30 percent of the population. Yes. But the rest, for the rest of the state, the whole state put together 17 percent. Mm -hmm. Yet in our prisons, in the state of Florida, 47 percent of the people that are there are black. Wow, disproportionate. Mm -hmm. Totally. It also, uh, there's another piece that, that came out from a Tampa Bay Tribune study that was done probably about four years now. And he said that if you're black and you went before a white judge, and most of them are white, only 7% of the judges in the state of Florida are, are black. Mm -hmm. If you went before a white judge and you stole $500 worth of stuff out of Walmart mm -hmm. and you're 16 years old yes, and you had a, you're had you an A student, yes, if you're black, you're going to get 20% longer sentence for the same crime that a white person did in the same situation and circumstances as you. Wow. So, so, so there's something wrong there. So what I did. Uh, I put together two main or two two big uh, ordinances at the county to to deal with that issue. One is the Police and Criminal Justice Review Board. That means we're going to look at the whole criminal justice system in Broward County. We're going to yes. look at our police and policies in Broward County mm -hmm. and find solution to fix these issues that exist. Great. Okay. One of those issues that I've uh, propagated and put forward and worked on strenuously for many years is a civil citation program. Where if you're a juvenile, uh, starting with juvenile first, and then we moved it to adult, and you mm -hmm. had a little weed, mm -hmm. less than 20 gram, mm -hmm. if you shoplift for a small amount of money, mm -hmm. if you had an open container, mm -hmm. if you were light loitering, or other minor misdemeanor offenses, you could be given what's called a citation, pretty much a ticket. Yes. You go through a course to figure out what's, the situation, mm -hmm. do you have an addiction problem? Mm -hmm. Do you have extreme poverty? Do you have mental issues? Mm -hmm. And then bring resources to the fore to help you. You complete that program and you it's as if you didn't get a, tic a, a, a ticket because you wow. now complete the program. You don't have a record. You don't have any of that to hamper your life wow. uh, going forward. Move that also to adults. We started with marijuana possession. Mm -hmm. And then we put the rest of that in place. The unfortunate thing is this, that many law enforcement agencies in Broad County are not utilizing it. Okay. 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 So they're still arresting these young kids. Okay. And and we got to, we have worked uh, strenuously with the new uh, state attorney mm -hmm. to change that. I've worked with Sheriff Tony, mm -hmm. uh, who I understand been on your program to make sure that he prioritize given these second chances, third chances, mm -hmm. second, first, second, third chances mm -hmm. to people who might not understand yes. their transgressions. And if they do, we give you a chance to redeem yourself. We can't allow you not to be redeemable. Exactly. Okay. So the other, the other ordinance that I put in place uh, is the racial equity task force ordinance. Mm -hmm. 37 different entities coming together, school board, Broad College, clergy, um, news media, mm -hmm. uh, the police department, the chambers of commerce, mm -hmm. Black Lives Matter, mm -hmm. Urban League, NAACP, a plethora yes. of organ every 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 representation of Broward County. Yes. yes, to look at how we feel changes thing and end systemic racism that we know exists. Okay, so th so there's a whole movement now in Broward County to change that, and and and, and we're making progress. I must wow. tell you that we're making lots of progress. Wow. And, and that came after a pass, what we call ban the box. We're at the county. Mm -hmm. If you're applying for a job and you had a criminal record, that question is not asked until we decide that you're qualified and capable. Yes. Then we find out if the position you're going to take has security issues or other issues that we need to look into your background. And if we do, and we find an issue. Mm -hmm then you can have a rebuttal. I say, hey, look, I was 17 years old. I smoked some weed. I had some weed. I, you know, I, I did something that wasn't right. Yes. I've accepted responsibility. I'm now 30 years old. Yes. I've put that behind me. I'm capable of doing the job.